In this video, we're going to try to get a sense of what the limit as x approaches 3 of x to the third minus 3x squared over 5x minus 15 is. And when I say get a sense, we're going to do that by seeing what values for this expression we get as x gets closer and closer to 3. Now one thing that you might want to try out is, well, what happens to this expression when x is equal to 3? Well, then it's going to be 3 to the third power minus 3 times 3 squared over 5 times 3 minus 15. So at x equals 3, this expression is going to be in the numerator. You have 27 minus 27, 0 over 15 minus 15 over 0. So this expression is actually not defined at x equals 3. We get this indeterminate form. We get 0 over 0. But let's see, even though the function, even though the expression is not defined, let's see if we can get a sense of what the limit might be. And to do that, I'm going to set up a table. So let me set up a table here. And actually, I'm going to set up two tables. So this is x, and this is x to the third minus 3x squared over 5x minus 15. Actually, I'm going to do that again, and I'll tell you why in a second. So this is going to be x, and this is x to the third minus 3x squared over 5x minus 15. The reason why I set up two tables, I didn't have to do two tables. I could have done it all in one table, but hopefully this will make it a little bit more intuitive what I'm trying to do, is on this left table, I'm going to, let's try out x values that get closer and closer to 3 from the left, from values that are less than 3. So for example, we could go to 2.9 and figure out what the expression equals when x is 2.9. But then we could try to get even a little bit closer than that. We could go to 2.99. And then we could go even closer than that. We could go to 2.999. And so one way to think about it here is, as we try to figure out what this expression equals as we get closer and closer to 3, we're trying to approximate the limit from the left. So limit from the left. And why do I say the left? Well, if you think about this on a coordinate plane, these are the x values that are to the left of 3. But we're getting closer and closer and closer. We're moving to the right, but these are the x values that are on the left side of 3. They're less than 3. But we also, in order for the limit to exist, we have to be approaching the same thing from both sides, from both the left and the right. So we could also try to approximate the limit from the right. And so what values would those be? Well, those would be, those would be x values larger than 3. So we could say 3.1, but then we might want to get a little bit closer. We could go 3.01. But then we might want to get even closer to 3. 3.001. And every time we get closer and closer to 3, we're going to get a better approximation for, or we're going to get a better sense of what we are actually approaching. So let's get a calculator out and do this. And you could keep going 2.999999, 3.000001. Now, one key idea here to point out before I even calculate what these are going to be sometimes when people say the limit from both sides, or the limit from the left, or the limit from the right, they imagine that the limit from the left is negative values, and the limit from the right are positive values. But as you can see here, the limit from the left are to the left of the x value that you're trying to find the limit at. So these aren't negative values. These are just approaching the 3 right over here from values less than 3. This is approaching the 3 from values larger than 3. So let's see. Let's calculate the value of this expression when x is equal to 2.9. So we have 2.9 to the third power minus 3 times 2.9 squared, which is, close the parentheses, so that's our numerator, and then divided by, open parentheses, 5 times 2.9 minus 15, it's our denominator, is equal to, let's see, I got about 1.682. 1.682. So now let's keep going. So, again. so let's see, if we do 2.99 to the third power minus 3 times 
2.99 squared is equal to, and then we divide that by our denominator, open parentheses, 5 times 2.99 minus 15 is equal to 1.788. 02. Well, I'll just round that to 1.788. Approximately 1.788. And now let's get even closer to 3. Remember, we're now approaching 3 from the left. So 2.999 is even that much closer to 3. So let's get the calculator out again. And we get, now we get 2.999 to the third power minus 3 times open parentheses, 2.999 squared, close parentheses. So that's our numerator, divided by, open parentheses, 5 times 2.999 minus 15 is equal to 1.7988, or approximately 1.7988. Approximately 1.7988. So it seems to be getting closer and closer to 1.8. And you could even verify, try 2.9999. See if it's getting closer to 1.8. So this is our limit from the left. Now we could try the limit from the right. So what happens when we try 3.1? So 3.1 to the third power minus 3 times, open parentheses, 3.1 squared, close parentheses, that's our numerator, divided by, open parentheses, 5 times 3.1 minus 15, that's our denominator, is equal to 1.922. 1.922. All right, let's keep going. This, this is something strangely fun about this. Alright, so let's see when x is 3.01. So now we're approaching, we're approaching x equals 3 from the right, from values that are larger, but we're getting closer and closer and closer. We're approaching from the right, but we're moving towards the left, towards x equals 3 without equaling x equals 3. So now let's do 3.01 to the third power minus 3 times, open parentheses, 3.01 squared close parentheses, that's our numerator, divided by, open parentheses, 5 times 3.01 minus 15, close parentheses, is equal to 1.81, I'll say roughly 1.812. Approximately 1.812. It does look like we're approaching 1.8 from above now. But let's just get even closer, 3.001. So, we can finish at least what I've put on our tables here. If you're unsure, you could just keep getting closer and closer and closer. 3.000001 if, you, if you're interested. But let's just do this one. 3.001 to the third power minus 3 times 3.001 squared, close parentheses, that's our numerator, divided by, open parentheses, 5 times 3.001 minus 15, that's our denominator, is equal to roughly 1.801. So approximately 1.801. So based on what we're seeing here, I would make the estimate that this looks like it's approaching 1.8. So is this equal to 1.8? As I said, in the future, we're gonna be able to find this out exactly. But if you're not sure about this, you could try even closer and closer and closer values. Actually, just for kicks, let's just do a super close value. Let's, let's try it, let's do 2.99999. Let's, let's see what that gets us. So we're getting really close, we're approaching from the left, but we're getting really close to three now. So let me get the calculator out here. Okay, so how many is that? That is five nines, so 2.99. One, two, three, four, five to the third power minus three times, and we're gonna have two point one, two, three, four, five squared, close parentheses. That's our numerator, 
divided by 5 times 2.12345, 2.99999 minus 15, that's our denominator, is equal to, notice we got even closer. In fact, if we round this at all, this is going to be 1.8. So yeah, if we round it to the nearest thousands, this is going to, or I, yeah, if we round this to the nearest thousands, this is going to be 1.8. So we're getting very close here to 1.8. And if you're not feeling good about that, you could go even closer and closer and closer to three to feel better and better and better about it. Once again, we're approximating, we're seeing what is the behavior as we get closer and closer to three from the left and from the right. And not only is this valuable for calculating limits, and sometimes you would have to calculate them numerically like this, but it also gives you an intuition for what a limit is all about.